Good afternoon, everyone. Um, it is a pleasure and honor once again to be introducing a senior, uh, especially Byron. Uh, I've known the Aaron's family now for over 10 years probably, and uh, greater supporters uh, for Greenfield are, or would be hard to find. And it has been a, a really a good experience to work with both of the Aaron's young men. Uh, Byron's been here a long time. He'll tell you, I don't know, maybe since fourth grade or whatever, but uh, just an excellent student. Um, yeah, we hear Byron a lot talk, you know, that he doesn't talk very much. He's very quiet. But in my class, you know, uh, quiet's good and listening and learning are, are really important things. And, and Byron handles that so well. I was very pleased a couple of years ago when Byron came and asked me to recommend him for the School of Science and Math. And I'm like, oh, you're not leaving us. And he was like, no, I just want to uh, take online classes. And, and that to me, when some student wants to stretch themselves and, and really uh, take a, a course load that is, that is pretty, pretty difficult, uh, that, that, that impresses me. And um, I think it's been a good experience for Byron. I know he's worked very hard. I know he's worked very hard with it. Also, uh, you know, Byron has been, he's taken on a whole bunch of uh, uh, things during high school, sampling a little bit of everything. I know he's loved soccer uh, and uh, been playing forever uh, at Greenfield, but also he's been um, YAG and National Honor Society. And one of the things that just impressed the heck out of me uh, back in the ninth grade, he and Jerry and uh, Hayden decided they would be a science quiz bowl team. And I'm like, guys, you, you can't do that. None of you have had chemistry. None of you have had physics. You've only had a year of biology. And of course, uh, Hayden did the talking. But, uh, you know, he was like, we got this, Mr. Land. And, and I, was, I was like, it's not a good idea not to have an uh, upperclassman on your team. Well, they came in third that year. They were in the finals. So I was like, well, I'll shut my mouth and let y'all do it your way. So they were a team again in the 10th grade, but then they, they did have to break up uh, later on. But I was so impressed with, with their efforts in, in, in the quiz bowl. It, it was impressive. Um, I want, the last thing I'll mention uh, to the entire class of 2020, I saw on Facebook where they had uh, a calendar and it said 2017, 2018, 2019, 2021, 2022. And the question was, hey, what about 2020? And the joke on Facebook was, we don't talk about 2020. Well, I'm gonna talk about 2020 a long time. And this senior class has endured, they persevered, they have, for me in AP Biology, they have been outstanding. Uh, they're handling this a whole lot better than I am probably. But right leading the way, Byron, every time I give an assignment, it's like, uh, how long will it be before Byron gets it turned in? Because he's going to be the first. And I don't know if he may be, he, he may hate deadlines. So he gets the work done, does a great job with it. And I have been so impressed with everything he has done since ninth grade. I'm looking forward now to hearing him tell us all about himself. And Byron, congratulations, buddy. You, you, you're you're going to be great at that school you're going to talk about. Take it over, Byron. Thank you. Uh... So this is my senior presentation. Um, so that's my family. Um, to, in the middle, that's my mom and my older brother, Sim, who's about five years older than me. And then my dad, Stuart, and my mom's name is Susie. Um, these are my two, the two dogs that we've had. Uh, we got on the left is Kipper, who we got in... 1999, so it was before I was born. And then he passed away in 2007. So he was kind of more of like Sim's dog. But then on the right is Lily, who's my dog, more of. And we got her in 2012. And she's been 
great. She's not very well trained, but she's a lot of fun. So I was born in Wilson on May 2nd, in 2002, and I've lived in Wilson my whole life. Uh, that picture on the left is from when I was really young, not sure when, at one of our older houses. And then I've been playing soccer for a really long time, and that was back when, and that picture is from back when I was playing for the rec, which was back in my prime of soccer. So I've been to four schools all together. Uh, I, I went to St. Therese from pre-K to about first grade in St. Therese. That's the, on the top right, that's the church, and then like the schools kind of behind the church. And then I went to another Catholic school in Rocky Mount, and the picture that's in the bottom left, and it's, it's called OLPH, or Lady of Perpetual Help. And I went there from second grade to third grade. And then I finally arrived at Greenfield in the fourth grade, and I've been there ever since. But then I also joined the NCSSM online program in the, my junior year, and I've been a part of that ever since. So I've been in a, a lot of activities. In the top left is from the me being in the shooting team. And then the top right is when I got my Eagle Scout in the 10th grade. And I was part of the Boy Scouts for, I think, since the sixth grade. And then bottom left is Halloween. And bottom right is the, when we won the state championship this year in soccer. And then some of my like favorite activities overall in at Greenfield have been the Christmas sing along, the blackout, and Halloween every year. It's always fun to see the costumes. And then in 2017, as part of like a Greenfield kind of group, we went to Nicaragua, and that was that was really fun. I had a great time there, and we were. Kind of, those are a few of those pictures are from when we were at a like house or complex, I guess, up in the mountains in Nicaragua. And then the lower left picture was Granada, and it was I really enjoyed going to Nicaragua, and it was like it's one of my favorite moments from not only like childhood in Greenfield, but of all time, I imagine. And then last year for spring break, my family went to Cabo San Luca, which is in Mexico. We were at, we stayed at a resort down there for a week or two, or just a week. And that was a lot of fun. We went around the Mexico, well, not Mexico. We went around the area of Cabo San Luca and the kind of the towns nearby. And that was just a lot of fun. I really enjoyed traveling about. So my future plans are to, I'm going to High Point and I'm planning on doing something in business, but the exact area I'm not sure of yet. But the reason I went chose High Point is because it's a small community, just like Greenfield, which I've learned to love and enjoy. And I also, it gives me the ability of getting a master's for free, which is really good and meaningful. And then after that, I kind of plan on joining the Peace Corps and going down to Liberia for a year or two and working at improving the overall lives of the people there. And then closing thoughts are, I just want to say, ha, say a special thanks to all my friends, family, and teachers. They've all meaned a lot to me and really had a big impact on me as a person and growing. And I, I'm immensely thankful for them and really happy to be, to have known them all and them make an impact on me. Thank you.
Good job, Byron. Thank you. Good job, Byron. Good job, Byron. Good job, Byron. Good job, Byron. Very nice, Byron. We did, Byron. Up, Byron. Congratulations. Thank you. Good job, Byron. Good job, Byron. Thank you. Good job, Byron. We'll miss you. Mm -hmm. Excellent job. Byron, I didn't, mm -hmm. I, I had forgotten all those things that you had done with Nicaragua and and I didn't know about the Peace Corps. That's very impressive. Mm -hmm. um, like I said, great, great things are happening for you at High Point. I, I'm, I'm just uh, so, so happy for you and your family. Congratulations. Thank you. Yes, that was wonderful. Great job, Byron. That Thank was you. so good, Byron. I'm so impressed also with your decision about the Peace Corps. And I have a question. Do you also get a diploma from NCSSM? Um, I should. It'll just, I imagine it's just going to come through the mail because of not only Corona, but it's just being an online student. Right. Well, that's very impressive. I'm, I'm proud of you for challenging yourself with those classes. Congratulations, Byron. Good job. Thank you. All right, everybody, we'll be back tomorrow at 2.30 for Nick's presentation. We will see you then. Great job, Byron. <laughs>